Hello and welcome to my tech fun. In this video I would like to talk about filament dryers, but first let's see what are they doing and do we need them. CD printing filaments uh, have the specification that they absorb moisture from the air and this may result uh, as a negative effect on CD printing. Usually uh, there are some filaments which are less sensitive to this, like PLA or ABS. Usually I store them in open air and so far I even have some two or three years old filaments I, I don't see any negative effect uh, on 3D printing. But PETG and nylon for example that's a completely different story. Uh, for example PETG first thing I will notice uh, that uh, there, there is a lot of stringing during the printing and uh, I'm not sure I think the, the layer adhesion is weaker in that case. And then we nail on, uh, for example, I, I tried to print this uh, game with nail on. Uh, it, it, it is full of moisture uh, out of the box, so uh, it has to be dried first. Definitely. Usually I store the, uh, them in these uh, bags. I put some silica gel inside. But now in the last few weeks uh, I started to use these uh, vacuum bags and with this vacuum pump I can uh, suck the air from inside and that, that's even better solution but even then during the printing they can absorb uh, moisture and uh, for this uh, a filament dryer uh, is a very useful tool of course the filament can be dried in oven but then you can uh, you have to take it out and during the printing it, it's uh, again on open air so that's why uh, dedicated uh, filament dryers are much better solution I have two of them one is uh, Sanlu, this is mine, I bought it, and this one, the e-Sun, is uh, sent to me by Banggood for a review. <laughs> they arrive approximately on the same time, uh, but just on time, because uh, with the Sanlu uh, I have a limitation to 55 degrees Celsius, which is um, for PETG maybe in AUG, but uh, definitely not in AUG for nylon, where we need approximately 70 or even more degrees Celsius temperature. So in this video I will talk about Sanlu filler dryer S1. The e -Sun will be presented in my next video. Just to see what's on the box, Sanlu filler dryer S1, see the printing made, drying while printing to improve your 3D models. Yes, I know that. Okay, compatible with different coils, temperature adjustable, timer function, heats up quickly and evenly. And on the back side here we have some useful information. Uh, max coil size is 210 mm by 85. And working temperature is between 35 and 55 degrees Celsius. Instructions on several languages. It's a recommended temperatures uh, for different materials and the nylon is not even uh, in the list list. So definitely that's not enough for the nylon. There are some rollers and they rotate uh, quite easily, so they will not provide uh, much more uh, force load to the extruder. I can see two holes for the filament out. Exit. Here is the first one and this is the second one. Mm -hmm. There is the display for the settings. Oops. <laughs> ah, this is the problem. I bought this for PTG drying and it cannot fit inside. Okay. Let's measure. 88 millimeter wide and it cannot fit inside maybe 84 millimeters but anyway I want to try with this filament uh, I will unspool I don't know uh, two meters for example and I will dry it so I can compare with the undried filament 
Hmm, this processor PETG cannot fit into these uh, vacuum bags, which are theoretically designed for these filament spools. I unrolled uh, approximately 20 meters of filament and I will place it outside overnight because it is very big humidity now. 92%. And then I will do some test prints and then I will dry it and do some test prints again. It's even rainy. See you in the morning. These are really extreme circumstances. Let's do some test prints with this. I can feel it, it's uh, wet a little bit. Really extreme stringing. Now let's dry the filament and uh, reprint these test specimens again. I am measuring the weight before and after drying so I can calculate how much uh, water evaporates from the filament. Using of the display is very simple. With the long press on, of the left button, we can switch between time and uh, temperature. And with the left and uh, right buttons with short presses, we can uh, go up and down. Maximum 24 hours and maximum 55 degrees Celsius. This pool shouldn't have contact with the heating surface, so it is on these rollers. This is temperature of the air where the spool is now. The contact surface is uh, also 70 degrees Celsius, but air will probably be lower 71. I want to measure the power consumption, so I have here the power consumption meter, which can measure the power from these connectors and only this filament dryer is connected now, so I can measure how much uh, power will be used in kilowatt hours after six hours. After six hours, it is in sleeping mode now, and let's see the power consumption, 9.04. So for six hours, I use 0 0.16 kilowatt hours, and here in Hungary, that cost me less than two cents. Let's measure the filament, are there any changes in the weight? 0.25 gram of water evaporates, so this is only 0.63% less of the weight. But these are just numbers. Uh, let's do some printing and to see the real results. Now there is an interesting information for industry users. Now, I will reprint those test specimens on my Pushamax VS. I just want to show you another small advantage of this uh, filament holder. That, that filament goes inside uh, the extruder without making any big sharp corners because from, from the spool holder, uh, it makes very sharp corner uh, if you don't uh, use some kind of uh, see the printed uh, filament guide. Definitely not the perfect solution, but for this test print it will be okay. I used the same G-code as with the previous uh, printing, but now I can see huge difference in Printing is finished and not even one thing except this one on the last layer. Huge difference. I'm very curious how it perform on tensile test and to check the layer adhesion. And here they are side by side. Don't be confused with the different colors. It's equal, only the left is on daylight and the right is in artificial light. First I will check the layer adhesion with these vertically printed test specimens. and now horizontally printed test specimens.
And here we can see the results. Uh, there is no significant difference on horizontal printed uh, test specimens. But on vertical printed test specimens, I noticed that approximately the dried is 60% uh, uh, stronger. I couldn't finish this video without at least trying to dry some uh, nylon filament. So I have this uh, game beard nylon, which was full of moisture out of the box. A few months ago, I was uh, printing these test specimens for temperature tests inside the car. And uh, it was full of stringing. It, it is horrible. Uh, uh, the filament was very wet out of the box. So uh, I unrolled here approximately 10 meters of filament. I will try to dry only this. And the reason I'm not drying the full spool uh, because I want to repeat the same test with the East Sun uh, filament dryer too. So uh, we will see, I will uh, leave this now on 55 degrees Celsius, uh, but for 12 hours. Uh, we will see if it will be enough, uh, so if it give us some better results with the printing. The drying is finished, now I am uh, preparing the bed surface, so I am cleaning it with isopropyl alcohol and I will apply some glue stick for better adhesion with the nail on. I hope you could hear on the camera those small crack sounds, that those are uh, boiling of those micro water drops. So unfortunately this filament is not dried yet. And here they are side by side. So this one uh, in my right, right hand is uh, dried. But uh, don't worry about uh, warping because I should use an enclosure with the nylon. Uh, only it's down in the basement with my Ender 3 and I was lazy to bring it up. So uh, anyway, I don't see very big difference. Maybe a little bit better is the dried uh, filament, but uh, that definitely not acceptable. So it looks like that uh, 12 hours on 55 degrees Celsius is not enough to dry this uh, nylon filament. Sunlow filament dryer definitely works great with the PETG. Of course, those are really extreme circumstances. Uh, usually you don't left uh, overnight <laughs> uh, the filament. Uh, it can even help if you have some very old uh, PLA filaments uh, and you have some problems with the stringing. Only pay attention to the recommended uh, drying temperatures. Well, unfortunately, uh, with the nail on, uh, looks like 12, uh, 12 hours is not enough on 55 degrees Celsius. Maybe 24 hours would help. I don't know what is your experience with the drying uh, nylon filament. Uh, please write me in the comment. I'm very curious how will uh, the East Sun perform uh, work with the drying of the nail filament because there, uh, 70 degrees Celsius is the maximum uh, temperature, drying temperature. I will test it and uh, this will be probably my first video in 2021. Until that, thank you for watching and happy printing!